Hey folks, my name is Tara, otherwise known as Candy Mama, and this is my YouTube channel, Tara Tracks. The van has been finished for about four months now, and I've been living in it since. I've just gotten around to editing all the videos, so thank you so much for your patience. Specifically, today's video is going to be about installing the ceiling as well as some cabinets and some LED lighting underneath those. Um, and otherwise we're just gonna have a good time building a van. We're gonna jump right into that video, but before we do that, I'm gonna ask y'all to please like and subscribe and turn on those bell notifications. It only takes a click on y'all's end to help and encourage creators like me. As always, thank you for your support. Let's get right into that video. So, so I've put up these um, beams right here under the bed uh, because this will be the base of the drawer slide. Um, so this is like the main structure of the drawers and the table that will slide out. So um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I have a table that goes in and comes out just to maximize like space uh, when we aren't eating. Don't want the table to just sit there. So it's sliding in and out. I also have two drawers under that that will slide in and out. Uh, so I had to make a pretty strong structure to hold the drawer and its contents and the table. Um, so I used a two by four here and I fit them pretty tightly up against the bed. Um, and then I reinforced it with some corner brackets here on either side. It was originally going to be wider, but the battery box on the right side here, or I guess yours, your left side, the battery box right here was in the way and technically I can't like, I can't, um, you know, move the battery box. But essentially I'm going to put the tracks on the um, boards here to measure, to get an accurate idea of how wide I need the drawers and the table to be. Me and my dad made a prototype of the drawers yesterday um, and I forgot about this battery box structure. So I found, I, I don't know if you guys remember this, if you've watched a lot of my videos, but I got a really good deal on these ball bearing gear tracks at the ReStore. I only got this one really good one um, at the ReStore and then I found another one that was only a dollar, which is also good, but I don't really know how this hooks on to, like, say, if I was hooking onto this. It doesn't really have, it has, like, one hole, but it doesn't have a lot of holes to where I can screw it in. I don't really know, so I'm going to figure that out as well. It's these little things that add up that make a van build a little more tedious than necessary. It's a lot of little things, a lot of large projects like the floor and the walls and the ceiling. But inside those big tasks, there's like a million really small tasks, like getting the right gear tracks at the restore, like what I'm doing right now. It's a lot of little things, but I'm down for it. I'm getting, I can see the end. I can see the end of the van build which is cool. Also last night I got these in the mail. It is a strip of LED lights, which is really cool. Um, let me show you guys. These are gonna go under the storage. Okay, turn those lights off. Turn these on, they're super bright. I also set it up with a dimmer, so it's completely dimmable. And storage units should go up today, so that's exciting. Just gotta paint the backside of the doors and put the actual doors on the storage pieces. Those are those turned out really well. Um, those I'm really proud about. It worked really well. So, yep. Keep doing the small things. Let's do it.
two boards for the walls. The reason I'm doing solid boards instead of paneling is because I read somewhere that uh, one, it's just easier, and two, um, as your van contorts a little bit, it is a little hard for the paneling to kind of withstand that over time. So I decided to do boards and then paneling on the roof to still add that kind of like cabin -y look, the little rustic cabin -y look to it. Um, but I do want like clean white walls. So what I'm gonna do here, this is a quarter inch thick piece of um, plywood. It's a really cool piece that uh, low sells. It looks really good, it's really clean. It is Patriot Timber and it's really light and malleable so I can like form it to the walls uh, just slightly. I don't want it to look too weird, um, contorted and whatnot. So what I'm gonna do here is uh, this weekend me and my dad are going to put the ceiling up and we're gonna put the walls up. So I'm just preparing uh, everything for the weekend. So I have um, the ceiling, so I have the ceiling panels uh, stained and ready to go. They're right here. So right now all I need to do is paint this white because I do want that clean white look and I'll paint that other one too. So we put in our first ceiling board of the day and it looks really good. So the lights fit in there really nicely. Um, the actual board is a quarter inch thick piece of cedar. It comes in a pack of six. So I think I got four or five. Um, but the way I got this hole drilled in here for the light is using this two and a fourth um, drill bit, I guess you can call that. You gotta go really slow because it is a quarter inch thick piece of wood. So it's really. It's really skinny. You don't want to mess up the wood. And the way the lights just fit in there seamlessly, they're a little shaky, a little shaky, but the way they fit in there uh, really nice and snug is because of these springs that just hold it there in place. I'll put the link in the description of these on Amazon. Um, if I don't, somebody call me out. But everything fits really nicely and I'm just gonna keep going. I think this will be a big achievement for the day. If I mean, at least if we get like half of it done, I think it'll just be an encourager because it's gonna look like an actual camper van, like a van, a clean camper van, look, I guess you could say. But it looks really good. I'm very thankful for my dad's time and thankful for um, our resources that got us to do this. Thankful for my dad's help and um, just inspiration I've gotten from other van builders. I think it looks really good. But again, this is a piece of cedar uh, stained with a dark walnut color and a polyurethane finish. So we put this silicone um, caulk on the furring strip before we place the um, piece of cedar paneling up there. And then we fit it into the groove like my dad is doing. And with correct measurements, it fits in there really nicely. So then we sledgehammer it just lightly so it fits in there well. And then we have this nail gun here that just puts a nail to secure it in place into the furring strip. Furring strip is a three and a quarter inch piece of plywood that I cut into pieces. And so those nails are basically, I mean, you can't really see them at all. So that is one of the nails we already put. So I'd say we're a little more than, a little less than halfway done. It looks really good. It's just taking a lot longer. Technically today we've only done about a fourth because I did about a fourth the, a couple of weeks prior. 
really hoping to get this done in a week and I don't know if that's gonna be possible so <sighs> gotta put in some overtime I guess really good I'm really liking the way it's coming out it is hard though it is a process the boards we got were beautiful cedar six pack like I said before came uh, from Home Depot and it's great but the tongue and groove is very brittle and that is the biggest problem but we are getting through it board by board and at least it's not hard. I told my dad this. At least it's not hard to put up and looks bad. At least it looks great and it's hard to put up. It would be it would be kind of annoying if it just looked like crap. Uh, and you know, if I was rushing through this, it would look like crap. So it's good, just taking our time. But that means that I probably won't finish what's on my list to finish today, which means that puts me behind schedule first couple boards were a little difficult just that learning curve and it's like after that learning curve we've just been kind of like throwing it up this is all off filter hold on let me fix you how's that better all right so I got really frustrated with the ceiling yes time to table this as well so I will table the ceiling for right now it just wasn't the tongue groove wasn't lining up and it's like my arms are getting tired can't do this all day um, but I finished putting the doors on one of the storage, sorry about Jerry, uh, put doors on one of the storage units, cabinets, what, what have you, um, so I'm ready to put that up there. It wasn't recording, but I failed putting it up there, but I'm going to try again. This time I'm going to have screws in hand, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to try again for y'all, for, for the YouTube. Check it out. That's the storage. <sighs> Looks good. It doesn't quite curve. I knew this, that it wouldn't curve. But I thought it would go up a little more. I might try to play with it a little more. Try to get it go up just a tad bit. Um, but honestly, I couldn't be happier. It looks great. It does its job. It holds stuff. Look at this. Holds stuff. Oh, look at that. Got my drill bits. I am on day two putting up the ceiling panels. Um, it's actually, it was really not looking forward to today just because it's just been like, it was a little stressful yesterday um, since these boards are really thin and good because they're lightweight. They're just like brittle and they snap a lot. Um, that's not a piece of board. So uh, I came in here to attempt to put a board up um, and I'll show you why I was not looking forward to this board. But I put it up and it actually wasn't that bad. It went in pretty easily and that was a huge encouragement so I'm ready to keep going keep powering ahead to get this ceiling finished but these are the cabinets and I have one right here as well I'll show you that these I put up by myself yesterday 
uh, night and I finish around 10 p.m. and they look great they're very sturdy they're on there really well uh, I am a little afraid that they will start rattling once I start driving but that is van life, right? I mean, I've heard people say that's just like the reality of van life. But I think they look great. I love the white and the brown contrast. That is the look I was going for. So is the ceiling is almost done. It's like so close. I'm so excited. Let me show you why that one section I wasn't looking forward to um, and hopefully it'll help somebody else. So let me show you. It's raining out, so it's pretty dark in the van, even with the lights on. Um, so I had to turn my ISO up to 10,000. So if the footage is grainy, that is why. So if you see right here, there is this, uh, so the boards aren't, like they don't go the length of the van. So you do have to cut it and kind of uh, make a piece that extends to the back. And so you have to fit these two pieces into this groove. So that's hard as is, but I had another one on the other side over here that I had to do. And I haven't done two yet. I haven't done two, diff three different boards, fitting three different boards into one board. So I did complete that today and that was a huge encourager. So I think I'm ready to power ahead. But I forgot to say, I also put the fan flange on as well. And that is awesome. It's It seals off all of those edges uh, and it just creates a nice clean look. That white and brown is exactly what I'm looking for. This is a doozy. This one's a doozy. guys this is the ceiling the fully completed cedar in the color of dark walnut ceiling I am very happy with the way this turned out it curves really well with the shape of the van which was a concern of mine it looks really clean and it's that, that color I really like and it's very sturdy too like it has some give to it but overall it's it's very sturdy and just really good looking. So I have one more board to put in here. I have to rip it, but I'm waiting to put the walls in, which is also going to be today. I'm gonna try to get the walls uh, at least started today. At least one side would look good to have up. And then I'm gonna kind of see how much I need for that last ceiling and then do like a little board to join the two, the wall and the ceiling, um, like a mold or something. But I'm very happy with the way it turned out. It looks so good. Uh, also, I added, oops, I also added my um, LED, warm LED lights under here. And I think those look really good as well. The only thing is that this tape is sort of ugly. It's a gray tape, but I don't think anyone's gonna be like, oh, what's that you got under there? Uh, but it looks good. I think that looks good as well. Like if I turn off these lights um, Yeah, so that's the van right now. Oh, I also added you probably saw these these three inset storage bins So I wanted to like maximize the space, you know, I have these three odd-looking shapes of um, Storage 
in set shelving because I had the space and I was like, why not? And this was, I made those two actually when I was waiting for the insulation one day in the driveway. I was like, well, I have nothing to do until I get the insulation. So I made those and then I made this guy. But yes, ceiling, LED lights, inset shelving, happy day.